just doing a little video review to see how many amps my little 22 inch LCD monitor uh, will use in the trailer. Uh, I'm also going to plug in the uh, an old DVD player as well. Uh, see just what kind of a draw I'm getting. So I've got a meter hooked up to my uh, inverter and I'm just using a uh, battery I have fully charged here. So I'll just I'll turn on the contacts to the meter here. So I just took my battery off the charger so of course it's showing really high really high volts 13.19 volts. Uh, I'm just going to turn my inverter on. Okay, so my inverter is drying 7.9 watts, uh, 0.59 amps. So I will plug in, first of all, my TV. Okay, yeah, it draws a little bit. It's 8.7 watts and at 0.67 amps now. That's without it turned on. Well, let's turn it on. We're turning it on. Sorry, got the DVD player plugged in first. Anyways, let's go to the TV now. Okay, a little bit more. Now with the two of them plugged in, just without even turning anything on, we're at 9.7 watts, so it's increased a slight bit, and 0.75 amps per hour. So let's turn the TV on. I've got a power antenna booster hooked up, but of course I can't plug it into my inverter. It's just up here on the wall. Everybody else also running off the battery. I have no land power hooked up to this at all. Okay, so with the TV on, it's considerably higher. My watts are now 47.5 and my amps are 3.7. So 3.7 amps per hour. The DVD player, and that draws eh, not much more. Now it's at 4.26 amps and 53.5 watts. So I don't think spinning the movie up will st draw anything more. But so 53.7. Let's just close this and press play. That's not a whole heck of a lot difference. The disc is spinning up now. Uh, it's drawing an extra three watts. Really, that's nothing. You think about watts, you think about a, a 60 watt light bulb. This is drawing three watts. An RV light, an incandescent RV light, is drawing seven watts. This is half of that. So, very little. Um, let's turn off that DVD player. Okay, now we're back down to 47 watts, 3.8 amps. So that's pretty good. I'll be able to run a long time. Uh, just to show you my little setup here a little bit. Uh, the only the only reason this this is just a, an 80 amp. Uh, basically, it's a fuse. But what I like to do is I like to be able to turn off my meter and reset it down to zero, so I can. I can see the accumulative amps on this meter. I don't want to have to go in and disconnect my battery every single time, so I just hooked it up to a, a circuit breaker or fuse, if you want to call it, uh, that I can just turn off. I can just press it. I've just turned off. I've turned everything off. Okay, inverter, everything's off. Turn it all back on again. I don't want to use that to reset my meter. But anyways, uh, there's also the switch on the side, turn off your inverter. Proper way is to turn off your TV first, obviously, and then do it the proper way. But anyways, 
uh, that's my setup and now you know how many amps that uh, little LCD that isn't let me just double check this uh, yeah this definitely is an LCD TV and it's a 22 inch LCD TV so that's about how much power you're looking at using up okay thanks for watching